Hello, welcome on Martin's channel. This is about the Scheiblin 102 VM and about this Levo for the spanner or the fast spanning mechanism. You need the Levo, of course, but more important are those legs here, those clamps or whatever. They go inside here in this fashion or manner. You just put them in these slots here. There's a slot. I will make some light. There's the slot. There, this lever goes inside, or this leg goes inside. Like this. Then it plops down. You have to adjust the, um, the rods or the, the tube like this so you can. So the gravitation is on your side and this, oh, not like this. Yeah, with one hand, it's always somewhat funny. Like this. And now you can insert the, the tube here, the spanner tube, this one. This is a special extension extension rod. We, this rod is too short, so I made this expansion here. This is about eight centimeters, so something like that. No, it has ten. Yeah, almost it has 9.7 or something like that. Um, I had to solder this on this um, thread part here. It is not perfectly centered, but uh, this does not matter for my applications. The gripping action of the rods is uh, um, centrical, so... I have never seen any problem. Uh, you just screw this in, of course, and then this will catch your um, collet here. That's about it, as easy as it gets. I will not complete this now, I just will insert this tube. This tube goes in here, of course, and to close, you have to adjust this um, ring here as far as the collet in the front starts to pick. When it starts to pick, you try to close and when you cannot close, you just open this slightly. Then the collet will go out and this lever has more way to, to grab on it. Um, you don't close the... You don't close the mechanism by pulling in this left direction. You have to um, push in this direction or when we stand on the operator's um, space, you have to yank on it so it will close. Also to pull on your side. And when you want to open it, you have to push it away. When the mechanism is not um, closing or it is not opening, let's say it is not uh, kicking out the collet or the workpiece you are working with, then um, this tube here could be slightly misaligned or here it is too fat and so this will not go in properly. I have to turn this ring down here. This was uh, made by a previous owner. It is just... Uh, pushed over this uh, tube here. This is not original. I can, I would bet on it because it is not good steel and it is not perfectly round like you see here. Uh, I had, uh, I tried to, also I tried, I did um, machine this ring down somewhat and here it was not uh, cylindrical. So it must be man-made, not machine. Also, it must be made from a machining operator, not by Schäublin. Schäublin would not sell 
crap like this. Shrebrin has a very high quality standard. Um, you will see this piece here. This is on the closing um, mechanism. This you have. Uh, it, there are not many parts on this mechanism. I will. <coughs> I can tell you what I have here, and that would be. In a second, I need a magnet. This is these two these two legs here. I take them out of the magnet so they don't flap around. I advise you to do the same. It makes life easier. Use a magnet sometimes. <clears throat> you have this tube, you have one ring, second ring, third ring, inside down here. Maybe we see them. Nope. But this one we see. I make some light. You see the brass bearing inside there? You should see it. Also, I can point with my finger on. There is a brass bearing. This is just some piece of a ring. I, I think it's about uh, one eighth of a ring. They cut them out. They make one ring. And they then they cut down this ring they made. It's just a simple bearing. And then you have this big ring here. And this is one piece. This two and this screws on here. Um, you see here is a notch out. Normally, also original. This is not original. I modified this after I've seen this slot. I made this piece with a slot too. Normally here is original, here is a hole. I made a slot in it. It makes the whole reassembly very easy. And never sell this off. Just keep it in your in your uh, schublade. <coughs> in your drawer. Um, to mount this piece here, you have to unscrew three screws. Don't lose them when they fall in here. You can go and fish them out of some oil. I use a magnet here too. Just put the magnet beside and then apply pressure on your screwdriver. Don't take away your screwdriver, just push and turn the screw out and then take the screw while the screwdriver is on and then take it off. Then you don't lose the screw to the oil bath. Um, you have to open this lever here just a slight bit. Don't overdo it, just one, two millimeters. Or you will lose uh, inside here is a is a brass bearing, a brass shoe too that presses on this axis. Then you just turn the 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 hot the, the the nut down there is a nut, you see. And when you push this up, it is eccentric -y, eccentrical bared or on an eccentrical bearing. You see, it comes up. It wants to engage in this warm shaft gear here. Now it is engaged. When you pull it down, you can disengage this part. I put in the drawer and you can fit on this, this piece here. You just pull it on and then you screw it on. And then you readjust the eccentric so it will engage with the warm gear when you want to use your auto feed mechanism on the lathe of course when you don't want to use the auto feed let it be let it down mine is mine is most engaged so until uh, i start to cut threads then i put this off um, they write in the manual when you don't use any of this mechanisms um, Pull your lever in the middle and nothing is engaged, so no gear um, movement is made and no material is used up because those are brass. This is a brass um, gear down there. It will go, uh, it will get used up uh, over time, of course, over a long, long time. It will get uh, 
chewed away from the steel, but this needs a long time, at least 20 years, but, uh, is my assumption. Um, <clears throat> you can, with this here, with this, with these two rings, well, focus, thank you, you can adjust the pressure uh, that goes on these legs when I have this understood correct. Yes. Um, but I would uh, advise you just watch what I did about two millimeters. And this is a good way to go. There is some <laughs> screw missing, like I see, or whatever. I assume this is a. Yes, it is a sweat, but uh, I don't know. There is a screw missing. It's just one screw missing, so I don't really give anything about it. The mechanism works without the screw, and that's about it. You have to watch out for this height here. When you buy some Levo mechanism for this machine, the height here has to be the right size um, to the axis or it, or it will not work. You can of course make some mechanism like this, even this lever you can make. When you have a lathe or some mill, you can, or uh, you, when you have some welding skills or soldering skills, you can make such a part like this when, you, when it is missing. Uh, when you need some measurements, um, I can measure this and send you some files when you need. Um, what else? Ah, don't don't put oil here. This needs to be a friction close. I oiled it once. You 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 don't even need oil in here. This is brass. Brass is so slippery. You don't need any oil in my opinion, but. But here, don't use oil. No oil. When you put oil here, this is a press fit. When there's oil, it can snap off. I have uh, oiled it once and never again because it's, it has it, it wanted to slip open on me. Again, because this is a this is a levo um, clamping. So when you clamp this ring here on, also the you, you, you clamp when you clamp down this you cl you give pressure on the legs here you give pressure um i assume here or in the front when you go forward with this the, there will be put pressure on by um by this by this ring here as far as i have that uh, as far as i understood it um, yes, that makes sense. When they are inside here, you see, the ring is now engaged and when it comes backward, the... Ah, yes, of course, I can test it with my finger. When I push now the ring, the, the lever forward, the ring and the lever action presses inside on this uh, leg. So, you can try the same, of course. And then you have your own proof. And again, use a magnet, makes life easier. <laughs> Just don't leave the magnet on there or it will go uh, magnetic over a fast time. Well, this is of course, uh, this, this, fall, this is falling me down. That's why there is a piece missing, but I don't care. So, just put that back on and I don't screw it down. I leave it open so I can check from time to time or when people are here, I talk with them about the gear because uh, most people have questions about this. <coughs> At least my customers and I have <coughs> some here. Now I'm alone. <laughs> Only God is here with me and my viewers, of course. Leave a thumb up here when this is uh, interesting for you. When you have questions about the machine, I'm really good in now, so just ask me, shoot some questions when you're interested in. And uh, here, this is a stopping mechanism. You can turn the, the spindle somewhat, and then you can engage or disengage this knot. And... Uh, 
give me a sec. I turn it with my elbow. Now it is engaged. This nut you can engage so the spindle is fixed. You have to disengage this. Um, this screw or whatever, this thumb screw. Um, when you don't disengage it, the 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 belt will be blockaded. It will be stopped. I don't know how it works. This thing, I assume, inside here will go uh, the some um, some stift. Oh. I don't know the word for stift in English. Um, some bolt will go in there and then blockade this. You can blockade this here, so you can unlock this uh, the the three grabbing chuck thing here. And you have to unscrew, of course, this screw before you do that. This is a security clamp ring it clamps the 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 chuck to the spindle but um i leave it there just disengage this knot when you're done uh, so you can turn here the spindle when you don't disengage the thumb screw the belt will um, uh, spin around but not the spindle so you have a, a polishing belt inside here it will polish your your um, gear or your reduction rings. Um, I made this last week, so I can pull put my my most used stuff here. It's just a piece of quadratic tube. Maybe you need some idea like this. I don't know. Well, that's it. Have a nice day, and that's about the clamping mechanism. Um, that's all, leave a thumb here maybe, thank you, and uh, give me some subscription please, then the channel grows and maybe I can buy some material to do some late work with your uh, subscription when YouTube starts to pay me money. <laughs> oh God, I'm a dreamer. Thank you, bye.